Hi YouTube, uh, Sunday afternoon and a couple of hours of run rummaging around in my garage to myself. It's a nice windy afternoon here in the UK so um, what I wanted to show you was my uh, wind turbine upgrade for the uh, bug out vehicle, bug out trailer. So uh, let's get the um, power trolley out of the trailer for you and uh, we'll set it up, see if this wind turbine can actually make us some power. You know, so here's the bug out trailer, all packed up as always. The uh, power trolley's there. Let's get that out for you. Um, some of you may have noticed I've got some more preps on the go here. Uh, managed to get some uh, food grade uh, tubs from my local bakers for nothing. Just had to bring them home. They had the fondant icing in them. And uh, God, how much, how much sugar's in one of those? Um, yeah, cleaned them out in the uh, utility and uh, wiped them out with a drop of bleach. And they're going to be the basis of my uh, uh, some more of my preps. But the first one, I've decided to um, just get on and make myself some MREs, you know, because I went to a local supplier recently and uh, MREs are a fortune. You know, they're about £14 uh, per pack. And... Uh, what I've done is I've made myself a uh, a breakfast snack evening meal with you know chewing gum matches toilet paper that sort of thing in them and um, when I was at a fast food restaurant you know every time I go in now I pick up a handful of those little uh, packets of sugar salt and peppers and um, that's the basis of my uh, my MREs that I'm making up you know I've got a um, a nice snack of dried nuts there got a few boiled sweets because there's nothing like uh, a couple of boiled sweets to up your morale some chewing gum chocolate bar 250 calories in a chocolate bar um, what else got some uh, serviettes not only for um, you know helping you light fires toilet paper but uh, also serviettes um, got noodles sardines and that would be my uh, kind of main meal got a little uh, pot of uh, can't see it there but a little pot of salmon that um, I think would make a uh, nice little snack you know just enough to uh, uh, to um, brighten your day up you know so I've made uh, four of these to start with and uh, must admit I didn't go to a superstore to buy the uh, ingredients I went to a local supermarket which is fairly expensive I suppose but it was just a trial so now I've got my uh, um, content or recipe together should we say uh, worked out the calorific content of uh, what I want in each bag then uh, now I'm off to the superstore to get some bulk buys but these ones cost me about three pound fifty to um, make so about five maybe six dollars you know but that's uh that's a lot better than uh 14 pounds 21 dollars you know so they're my uh first attempt at my own mres and i'm going to take those out with me on my my next uh walk just to see how we get on with them you know god forbid you end up with uh you know 100 mres that you, you can't stand eating so just fill them up with you know dried goodies that you uh like to eat yourself so I'm going to get the power trolley out. Let's show you the wind turbine and the solar panel. Morning YouTube. This is a uh, nice sunny afternoon in the UK, albeit uh, quite windy. What I've done uh, today for you is to just uh, set up the solar panel just on the front of the Land Rover there. So it's a 40 watt uh, solar panel, gives off between um, 12 and 17 volts of charge and its um, safety feature is a 2.35 amp fuse. I've rigged it up on a uh, cigarette lighter type plug on an extension lead which just plugs into my power trolley. But uh, that's the solar panel that you've seen before but I've finally got round to um, acquiring a uh, wind turbine. So let's uh, introduce you to that. Okay, there's the uh, wind turbine. 
does exactly what it says on the tin so it charges from uh, it's a 50 watt telescopic wind turbine and uh, it's a vertical uh, uh, axis wind turbine and it charges at uh, between 12 and 16 volts um, DC I thought I thought it was uh, quite a funky little bit of kit in truth it, it really doesn't start charging until you've got a um, you know a good uh, wind speed but uh, my plan really was that uh, this would charge the power trolley during the night and the solar panel would charge it during the day let's get this out and just uh, set it up for you so you can have a look at it okay so that's the turbine out of the box and like I say it's a vertical axis uh, wind turbine um, really simple you know it's got a uh, um, alternator type setup in the bottom that generates the electricity and it's about uh, 22 24 inches high as you see it there what I've done is just rigged up a cigarette lighter um, type power supply the black and white striped wire is always a positive and this will literally plug into my uh, cigarette lighter extension lead and that will plug straight into the power trolley the other thing that I like about it there's not a lot of use in truth is that it has an LED that tells you uh, what the charging rate is so let's just give it a spin for you you know you can see it um, power up and it gives you exactly what you're uh, generating the other thing I really like about this unit is that it's got a magnetic base so four magnets on the base and you literally just you know stick it to whatever you want to stick it to and in this case I'm going to uh, put it on the roof of the truck and then what happens is the, the uh, sail is telescopic so it doubles in size you know so there it's about 18 inches high but we open it up and it'll be uh, 30 inches high and um, like I say the plan is to use the solar panel during the day and the wind turbine hopefully overnight so we're generating 12 to 17 volts of power for the power trolley um, pretty much uh, hopefully you know 16 to 20 hours a day would be lovely you know so that um, power trolleys um, constantly uh, fully charged giving us anywhere from uh, um, six to ten hours of mains electricity a, a day depending on what we're using but for a sort of camping type off the grid uh, environment I don't uh, I don't see us using it any more than seven o'clock in the evening till seven o'clock in the morning let's say so it's got all day to charge with solar power and then hopefully we can we can still be charging it overnight with a, a little bit of wind power but let's set it up see if we can get it spinning uh, show you uh, what it looks like okay so there it goes like I say it's telescopic so I've literally just turned uh, an 18 inch sail into about a uh, 30 uh, about a 30 uh, inch sail and um, let's see what sort of power it's generating Another thing I've had for some time is this little freezer box, 12 volt freezer box. You can see I've just rigged it up and it plugs into the back of the vehicle. So as I'm driving around, it's uh, keeping things nice and cool. But what I can do with that is I can just plug it into the power trolley. So I'll take it out.